Hello all the crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite. Welcome back to Golden Sun The Lost Age, and as usual, I cannot remember what I was doing. Um, let's see, so we arrived in Kabomo, uh, for real this time, I think, and, um, let's see, can I move this and pull this towards me? I can, alright. Uh, let's see, what did we do? Oh, yes, why do you ask? Uh, Synergy, Piers, do I have your attention now? Uh, I would have spotted it at once, you're an adept. Wait, so does that mean you're... Yes, my name is Piers, and I too am an adept. I'm pretty sure we knew this already, Jenna. Anyway. Uh, to be honest, everyone in Lemuria is an adept, and not just me. What's Lemuria? Lemuria is an island that lies in the center of the Eastern Sea. Wait a second, you said Lemuria? I've heard that name before. Of course, it was the Lord Bobby. He often spoke to me of Lemuria. He said it was so advanced that we can scarce scarcely begin to imagine what it must have been like. You are correct. My home was, and is, all that you say. Whoever told you this knows much of Lemuria. Uh, but wait. If it's so far away in the middle of the ocean, how come everyone knows so much about it? <clears throat> it's the world's worst kept secret. Or I guess the best kept secret. It's... Mm. Th there was a joke that I heard regarding that a long time ago, and I can't remember what, how it exactly went, but it was something like that. You'll have to take my word for it that it, it was funny. Anyway. It is not easily reached, and we Lemurians seldom leave. I cannot imagine how anyone could have learned anything out us, about us at all. Except... Hold on a moment. Bobby? I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, yeah, everyone knows about Lord Bobby. He's the, real, the ruler of Tolby. I've never heard of Tolby. Until recently, I never left my home in Lemuria. Piers, anything you're... Uh, are you just playing games with us? <clears throat> Don't be foolish. Why would I... What would I gain from lying to you? I'm being quite serious. Piers is not playing games, Jenna. You can trust him. Thank you for believing me, Mr. Sage. Please call me Creighton, Piers of Lemuria. Oh, uh, that's like his title. Okay, Piers of Lemuria. Alright. And I'm the one who should be thanking you. You look puzzled, Dragger. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. No, after all this time, sir, I've just learned to kind of go with it. Oh, good. Then I probably don't need to tell you. Wait, just because my brother knows what you're talking about doesn't mean we do. Tell us. Uh, if what Lord Bobby told me is true, Lemuria is all that remains of a once great civilization. In fact, the reason I was sent to Vale was somewhat related to the to my inability to find Lemuria itself. I don't understand what uh, was what was Vale that had an, what was in Vale that had anything to do with Lemuria. Uh, this is probably something to do with Mount Aleph, right? Just just a wild guess. Uh, Bobby believed that in Lemuria alone, the power of alchemy remains unbound. Lord Bobby had need of Lemuria's alchemy, but despite our effort, we could not find the lost city. Since we could not find Lemuria, uh, Lord Bobby sent me to unlock the secrets of alchemy myself. Ah, yes. Bobby. If I recall correctly, a man named Bobby came to Lemuria a long time ago. Now it's coming back to you, is it? Uh, he stole one of our ships and fled the isle. Nice guy. Uh, yeah, that must be- that must indeed be the same Lord Bobby who knew- leads the- uh, who now- That's a typo. Who know leads the people of Toby? That's a typo. That should say now. Um, now I'm even more confused. This is making my head hurt. I found a few typos in the games that I've less played over the years. I want to say the uh, the visual novels had one or two, although I guess Harvest December kind of gets a pass on that being a, a translation from Japanese. But um, there have been a, probably more typos that I thought were typos that actually weren't. That were just me misreading something than actual legitimate typos. But. Uh, once in a while, you'll come across these things if you read them out loud for long enough. Anyway, where was I? I was just hitting the A button again. I have a habit of doing that when I'm just going off on a tangent. I remember Lord Bobby once saying something to that effect. Even if one locates Lemuria, getting through the fog itself remains quite a challenge. I don't get it. Why can't you just sail straight through it? Alright, the ocean currents around Lemuria are swift and treacherous. Uh, only one who can sail a, a Lemurian ship can complete the journey. But Bobby stole a Lemurian ship from you, right? That means you can sail it. You said yourself that he used it to flee the island. Fortunately, Bobby was the only one of us who could use the ship. You see, Lemurian ships can only be helmed by adepts, which is why I have to get my black orb back. I must be able to captain my ship. There may be something up ahead on this path. Let's go. Wait a moment. We want to help you get your orb back. You intend to help me, Creighton? I'm on this quest for many reasons. <clears throat> one of them being... <clears throat> I'm um, okay. One of them being that I wish to see Lemuria. If you would allow me, that is. I'd like to visit Lemuria, my, if, uh, Lemuria myself. If this is something uh, you would do for Bobby, then I cannot permit it. What? Bobby's a thief. He's not well-loved in Lemuria. Just partially on behalf of Bobby, but there's more to it than that. 
think it's mainly because uh, Creighton is you know, a bit of a nerd, and he's he's got to learn all the things and go all the places and see all the things. Um, yeah. What 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 he said. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do this because I want my fourth party member because I want some inventory space because I'm peers, please. All right. Yeah, talk about this later. Just get in my party and let me use your inventory space. All right. Um, that's where I am on health. Should I, uh, should I heal? You know what? Speaking of inventory space, do I have any? Oh, you know what? I can also start using these, um, like, mints to boost agility. Who's got the highest agility? Piers is level 18. Uh, Sheep is generally going to be going first. All right, so Shiba usually goes first anyway. I think I'm gonna boost mine. Um, a hard nut is gonna replenish some health. I don't need that yet. Uh, replenish more health. Side crystals. All right. So my game plan is gonna be like if these two can go first in battle and then like reliably having a you know a little bit more geology than everybody else and then these two can pick up the rear, do a little bit of damage or something. Boost defense. Um, 100, 118, 100, 107. Um, on the other hand, like, proportionally, I don't know if these are proportional stat boosts or if they are, like, a fixed number, like, they'll always boost your defense by, like, two or whatever. Um, because if that's the case, then uh, proportionally giving it to someone who has less defense will be, will be a bigger boost. Seems to be five points. I'm gonna guess that it's five points, because five is a nice even number. It's an odd number, but it's a... never mind. Um, let's see, what else was there? There's this laughing fungus. I still don't know what to do with that, but I feel like I should hang on to it. Tickets for a special game, cookies, boost maximum PP. I don't think I've really had anyone run out of PP yet, but... 50, 55, 118, 78. I'm gonna give it to you. Power bread, maximum HP. Um, again, proportionally, I should probably give that to the person with the least. And just uh, some regular healing herbs. All right, you need some healing. And, well, we're better off than we were five minutes ago anyway. So that's gonna be, uh, we're gonna be on our way. Let's see, what's up here? Is there actually anything up here? Um, Let's see, what uh, what came to mind in that uh, that last little cutscene? That last, it's not a little cutscene, it's a pretty long cutscene, um, as are most cutscenes in this game, but the idea of a continent that you can't really reach easily because of the rough ocean currents surrounding it actually sounds a lot like Antarctica. Um, is this a dead end? Am I going to have to think of my brain if I want to get through here? I am, aren't I? It's a pain. The, um... I don't know if I would say this is a little known fact, but something that uh, often gets overlooked is the reason that Antarctica is so cold is not because, um, not because it's so far south, which like it is, and that makes it that that doesn't help. But um, there is a uh, circumpolar ocean current. Yeah, I can't seem to do anything over here. Hang on, I'm suspicious. A circumpolar ocean current, I believe is the nerd word for it, which uh, runs around the continent and basically prevents warm water from reaching it via ocean currents, which is how, you know, Gulf Stream, it's how, um, like, Northern Europe stays relatively warm. Wait, what? Did you just run away? What did you say? I was not paying attention. Piers ran away. Excuse me, sir? Yes, okay, so we have to go this way. The fact that he was standing over here makes me think I have to actually go this way. Um, hmm. If I were to, uh... Oh, wait, okay, I thought, I thought this was, like... Okay. I thought that was, like, another rock. I didn't realize I could walk over that. Alright, that's... Well, I figured that out quicker than I figured out some other things, let's just say that. Uh, is this a scoop location? It is. Okay, whenever I see crack in the ground, I'm gonna have to remember that. Um... I'm gonna temporarily... Okay. Temporarily assign this to the trigger, because I'm gonna use it a couple times, it looks like. We're we just gonna, like, form a giant D-pad here. R. I, I don't follow. 
Oh, do I have to use reveal on that rock? Is it gonna be like a thing? Um. No? Hmm. Odd. Don't uh don't exactly know what to make of that. But anyway, let's uh let's go down these ladder. <clears throat> What else came to mind there? Uh, Lemuria. I, uh, I think I said at the beginning of the game that I, that I think that was one of the, uh, like, old continents of, you know, prehistory. Continental drift and all. You know what? Should I, should I leave this in? Let's leave in Piers' as inaugural battle. I want to I want to go through your synergy and see what you've got. Alright, so a lot of water-related things, as expected. Uh, some healing power. I do remember Mia from the first Golden Sun game was a healer. Um, then there's Douse. Cool Tundra Frost. I don't really know what the difference between all these is. And that's one of the things that kind of kind of gets on my nerves on, in video games when um, you have a bunch of attacks that all do the same thing, except that one is like stronger than another. Um, I, uh, I got in Final Fantasy's case a bit about that, especially in terms of like the Black Mage when you have like Fire, Fire, or Fire Rocket. It's three attacks that do the same thing, but the power goes up. Um, and I don't know if there's a difference between like these, all these water attacks that Piers has. Avoid! Alright, encounter fear monsters, so that's a... It's not a complete repel if memory serves, but it is a, um... I think that's what I can use to, to do things with puddles. It's not a complete repel, but it, it will lower the encounter rate at least. Anyway. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? Oh, do I, did I sell all my, uh, my weapons? I might have sold all my weapons. I'm gonna have to outfit gears later. What are you holding now? Battle mace, chain mail, iron shield, and bronze helm. Alright. Let's just give you that, just to put that out of your inventory. And, um, alright. Anyway, back to Lemuria. Um, before the, uh, before the theory of continental drift came along, uh, Lemuria, if I recall, was a, um, a proposed continent. Uh, which was lost in, in the way that continents are, you know, the olden times, sinking to the sea, whatnot. Explaining how the, uh, the lemurs, the name implies, made it from, like, mainland Africa, where the rest of the primates and stuff are, to the, uh, Madagascar, I believe? Um, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's how it went. Let's see, Salamander's my fire hey. attack. I don't have many fire attacks. I don't remember what elements these things are weak to. Um, which, uh, obviously has been disproven. We've, we've now, since figured out that uh, Madagascar used to be a little bit closer to mainland Africa, and um, lemurs crossed over that way, without the need for any lost continent. Um, I forget if there's anything else to it. I, I feel like I heard when I was uh, on the Wikipedia page that there was some, like, pseudoscience-y lore attached to it or something like that, which is a little weird, but I, uh, I can't remember how that went. I'm gonna have to go look it up a second time now, because... Now it's gonna bother me, but anyway. Um, there goes the Mimic. Got a lot of experience, got a hard nut. And I, uh, I just used one of those. That is not a hard nut, that's a regular nut. This is gonna boost a fence. Um, Alright, since you have the least HP, I'll prioritize giving defense to uh, Shiba. Because any, uh, any buff in that regard will be welcome for someone who doesn't have a lot of HP. Let's see. Is this just a maze? Is this a straight up maze? This is just a straight up maze. Okay. It's not the worst. Uh, this isn't gonna take me that long to get through. But, um... Let's see, we can come over here, pick up a bone armlet. Alright, let's see who can make use of this, if anyone. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's... Use it to haunt a foe. Oh, that's the secondary effect. Alright, so that's gonna raise Jenna's defense by a lot. Um, that's, this is something for the girls, uh, 12 points for Shiba, and 16 points for Jenna. Again, proportionally a bigger buff for Shiba, so let's give her that. Alright, and I think I can move on to that one ladder going down that I saw over in this direction. Cool. So, uh, once again, the, um, oh, I see, this is, this is like a... One, where I came from, two, uh, that's gonna be a, like, a one-way, uh, one-way sort of ordeal. And this is gonna be forwards. Also, the enemies here, they're not, like, impossibly strong or anything like that, but they are doing more damage. Yeah, I can't go through there. They are doing more damage to me than, uh, a lot of what I've been fighting so far. 
So I'm uh, gonna want to be careful there. I was having a little bit of not. I wouldn't say I was having trouble, but um. Okay, that's gonna go. Interesting. Um, I wouldn't say I was having trouble with the enemies like outside Kabomo. Um, like on my way here, but oh, I see. Okay, that stopped the propeller fins. It's interesting. Uh, they were they were definitely stronger than like the, the imps and whatever and the trolls from familiar in the game. Um, let's see. Am I gonna wanna am I gonna wanna shortcut lash? Is this gonna be something that I'll be I'll be using a lot of? Anyway, um, I will not put on a repel or uh, that was where I came from, right? So I don't want to go in there. I will not put on a repel or use Piers' avoid synergy or anything like that, because I, I do want to fight things and get experience, but if I do get in trouble, hello, Genie. If I do get in trouble and if I do need to uh, get out of here in a hurry and go back to heal or something, I would, uh, I would do it. Although I guess it's, I could use, what was it? I could use a uh, retreat. Is a synergy that's basically an escape rope, and um, and get out of here quickly. But it would still be a really long walk back to the last town, wouldn't it? Um, mm, let's see. How do I get through there? Because to get through there, I'm gonna one getting through there will allow me to get to the genie, I think. Uh, two. If I can... Really what I have to do is like move this gear. If I can get to that lash, I think that'll allow me to go forward. Uh, or will it? I'm gonna have to think with my brain here. Anyway, um... Where can I go then? I can go around. Oh, alright, wait. Um... In that case, I was here, wasn't I? But where... How do I... How do I get to... Help. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to that. Alright, more gears. Uh, this is... Tread carefully. Um... Okay. Another, another ladder. Can I just, like... If I just want to walk through, is it going to be relatively simple and straightforward? Oh, hello. Oh, so now am I going to get to do that? Um... Alright. I don't think I was able to run up on those red gears before, was I? Hmm. Alright, did that put me anywhere new? Uh, anyway, I'll have to go back and see if... Alright, so that did put me somewhere new. Uh, I'll have to go back and see if I can... I can do anything like that in the previous room. Right, I didn't really see anything that I could do down there with uh, with regards to jumping on the gears. It looks like I don't know if I can change the direction of any of these, but it looks like if I if I if I uh, if I could do that, some things would happen. Anyway, that looks like a return point, um, which I can't do anything with now. So let's uh, continue on past this one and see the game. Um, the game had the path forking a bit over here. Uh, I can go this way, and it looks like... Oh no, yes, I see, I can <clears throat> jump over the gap and uh, come down this ladder. And I think there was something else down here. Uh... Let's see... No? Oh wait, I, I'm dumb, I can just, uh, I can just walk through that, alright. Perspective. Let's see, so are we, uh, are we in another maze-like segment or whatever? I see we are... oh god. Now the game's just messing with me. Um, I wonder if this is... are we gonna be, be put into a position where we can... Oh, hello. Uh... Pegs? Pound pegs? Um, I'm wondering if we're going to be put into a position where we can, like, reverse these gears here? But it doesn't look like that's the case. Is something gonna happen when, um... Hmm... 
Something gonna happen if I hit that other one? Anyway, I'll come back for that, I suppose. Let's see, here is where it's supposed to go next, right? Um, yeah, alright, so I can come around the back there, and a lot of these gears are really just here for, like, distraction, like, visually getting in my way. Um, like here. Uh, here, for example, there's nothing to do with those gears and hopping over them or anything like that. They're just there to, uh, to get in my way. Oh, great, the path forks again. Mazes. Game, why are you like this? Anyway. Um, if I can have this, what's gonna be in here? That is an elixir. Get with those dudes. Do they do the same thing that they do in pretty much every game? Who has my elixirs? Oh, Piers has it? Here's delusion, stun, and sleep. Nope, all right. So that happens rarely enough that I wouldn't feel bad, wouldn't feel bad about selling those. Anyway. Um, I, uh, I did not expect, by the way, okay, so here we're on the other side of this thing. I did not expect, I have to say, that uh, the, like, African tribesmen part of this game, that's gonna make something happen. Um, I did not expect that this dungeon in here, of all places, would have, like, that That made it reverse, didn't it? A, a clock tower. I guess maybe not clock tower, but like a gear puzzle and mechanics related puzzle hidden in its, uh, in its basement. That kind of came out of left field, but anyway. If I reversed the, uh, if I reversed the direction of the gears, uh, which I'm pretty sure is what happens there, let's see if that allows me to do anything of interest anywhere else. Um, for example, uh, there was that one, was that one genie uh, that I saw earlier, which maybe I could perhaps find my way over to now. Yeah, we're definitely, uh, we're definitely reversed the, uh, the direction of these gears now. Um, I, uh, I will say, it's been a while since I've had a genie join my party. Um, was there anything up here for me? I do not remember. Uh, okay, so now I can go and, like, get blown through there. Alright, create myself a shortcut. Uh, let's see, Lash. We're gonna use Lash here. Just, uh, put that, put that together so I can come back. And what's up here? Oh, hello! Ow! Okay. I'm in trouble. So, uh... I lost a party member. And there is a, uh, there is a woodpecker drilling outside my wall very loudly. And... I was, I was gonna say, I hope we're not gonna be finding a boss that we have to fight soon because I've got a, I've got a dead party member. But, uh, okay. I guess we can continue. I was gonna turn back and, um, go and heal. And, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to do that yet. The Great Gabomba... ...lift. Uh, please accept this. Something tells me he's not going to. Did you just shove it up his nose? Um, yeah, he noticed, all right, because you shoved it up his nose. Oh, do we have, like, an electronics puzzle now? I see how this is gonna work. Yeah, no, I wouldn't think most people will be pleased by having a giant jewel shoved up their nose. Anyway, so you're gonna continue. Fortunately, I think I'm going to, uh, gonna have a chance to heal. Yeah, the conduit that channels the synergy is broken. Alright, that's Technobabble. Yeah, should we? No, not now. Take care of this later. Alright. Yeah, why should we help them? Thank you, Piers. Um, Kraden, shut up. Yeah, he only stole the order to perform the ceremony, so the faster that they get this over with, the faster you get it back, right? Alright. Um. We're inside the statue. If we can... <laughs> if, he, if the ceremony succeeds, they'll just give us the orb. No, I want to fight Shiba, because it sounds like experience, and it sounds like something that would be interesting. Alright, you, Kraden, I know, be quiet. I have things to do, and party members to revive. 
Okay, you're uh, you're being a, a lot more uh, just telling me what to do here than I'm used to in this game. Um, all right, you're gonna do it again, apparently, and I'm gonna go and uh, let's say run away, and I'm going to uh, see if I can do the thing where I bring back my party member because I don't have any items that can do that. Wait. What? Did the game break? Did I just break the game? Akafubu? Help? That's interesting. Ah. Uh... What, okay, what I think happened is that, um, and now Piers is down, and I realize that if I just die, I'll probably go back to the last Sanctum I was at, which might be faster. Uh, what I think happened is that this place counted as the last, like, exit that I went through, and, like, but the reason that I think that is because, for example, when I go back a little bit, um, some of the, uh, some of the minor puzzle elements reset, like when I, when I come back through here, this lash thing gets reset when, like, usually they wouldn't, unless you leave the area and come back. Um, and I guess when I, when I did that, like, it triggered that cutscene, but it had, I don't know if the game was, like, in some other, some kind of state, which, um, like, it had a, it had a flag set that told it that it, uh, it had already played that cutscene, but it played it anyway, and that made that made things break or something like that, or something else happened entirely. And, um... And, uh, yeah, I, I died completely, and I, I had to just warp back. And I'm gonna just pay a little money for, uh, for reviving everybody. What's gonna happen to Piers? Because Piers is not with me right now. Is he just gonna be dead? Is he gonna stay dead, or is he gonna be brought back to life when he, when he rejoins my party? Um... <laughs> oh! Oh, you know what? This was here earlier, and I picked it up. Uh, which is why there wasn't anything up there. Alright, I forgot about that. And Piers has been healed when he rejoins my party. Okay, so we can, uh... We can try that again, shall we? Alright. There's, um... Like, I, I would like to see if I can if I can at least get that genie, because, as I said, it's been a while since I, uh, since I've acquired a genie. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to do that, because having genie makes me happy. Right, I have returned. Mostly, mostly in good shape now. Uh, what levels am I? 20, 20, 19, 19? Alright, so I've been about a level since I, uh, since I was here last, I think. Now... Um, how is this puzzle gonna work? So if I pound this, and for this I'm definitely going to go and, uh, let's, let's put that on a, on a hotkey. Um, okay. So for example, can I, like, rotate? Um, hmm. And the the light things come from like these these statues, right? And I can't I can't like push these around or anything, right? Um Can I like pound this one to make it to make it go back down? Alright, I can. I see how this is gonna go now. Um Alright, so if I, for example, rotate it again, pound you, I'm missed, uh, pound, pound you so that, so that that one is locked in place. Um, I think I'm gonna want this one in this, no, 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 we're not done yet, hey. Wait, are we, hey, we're not on a time limit, right? Not like an actual time limit, because I did... 
kind of take my time there, coming back. But I'm pretty sure there wasn't supposed to be like a time limit or anything. Um, unless, unless that's just like something that happens when you like finish it partially or something like that. Anyway, um, this one needs another, another turn. Like that. And pretty sure that's going to complete a line. And I think I'm gonna need to I think I want that other corner piece like going this way from the red one. Cause that's gonna go around that way, and I, I don't know exactly what this one is for. Is this just like a wild card? What is this? Um, let's see, can I talk to it now? No? Well, I guess I just had to wait for some amount of time because it just happened on its own. Now we're going somewhere. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, I did see, and I don't understand. <laughs> That's not gonna end well for you, is it? Yeah, it rolled in. Uh, it came in and rolled along this groove on the floor. Oh, that's the tongue, huh? Cool. That isn't really weird at all. Okay. Yeah, just uh, stick your hand in there. See if see if anything bad happens. Okay. There must be a room on the other side of the statue. What are you doing here? Um. Yeah. Let's go with that. See what happens. Okay. Um. We are. Uh, we're here to, to confiscate this orb of yours. Uh, you wouldn't even be here if it weren't for us, because you are actually um, not very good at your job. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna explain the joke, are we? Yeah, your your synergy was running through the the channels on the floor and uh, broken circuit. Uh, we completed the circuit so that your magic energy could go where it needed to go. Okay, I guess that last piece didn't matter then. Um, yeah, we've... Well, I wish we'd taken the orb. Um, someone really should have just, like, stuck their foot out when it was rolling past and grabbed it. Oh, we're making him go get it, are we? You might be able to retrieve the orb. Okay, so when does this get down to us fighting you? Um, hmm. Probably not. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna, he's not gonna return what he's stolen, and Akapuku was, okay, so no, wait, we, he is? Piers is, Piers is feeling a little more charitable than I am here. Anyway, I want to fight something, but that's gonna have to wait for next time, because I'm gonna end this off. My name is Dragonite, this has been Golden Sun the Lost Age. Next time, we're going to go further into this great Gabomba statue and see what happens. Um, I really hope it's a boss fight, because I haven't fought anything in like five videos, and I really want to. I will see you all later.